We're really trying to empower people with disabilities to interact with the world rather than their machine. We are a human AI research lab to help people overcome challenges. We open the world to communities that are left behind. Everything starts with the question, what does the user need? The idea is to really make technology that understands people better. We developed ACAT, Assistive Context Aware Toolkit, to enable users to totally control their Windows machine with a very limited input, being the equivalent of a push button. You could imagine somebody blinking, moving their eyebrow. Those are kind of typical movement from the face that you can actually detect with a camera. Intel had a relationship with Stephen Hawking that lasted for about three decades. Stephen had good control over his cheek muscle. So we needed to translate that motion into a trigger to enable him to do anything with his machine. Writing, surfing the web, giving lectures. The work that we do in the Human and AI Research Lab is really trying to look for opportunities for AI to assist humans in different aspects of their lives. It is a multidisciplinary team. We have ethnographers, we have designers, we have people who work on AI, sensing in every form. Brain-computer interface is what we're working on now. If you really can't move any single muscle, because you're totally paralyzed, the only thing that we can tap into is your brain waves. Imagine thinking about this item on the menu or thinking about the letter A. And we're really trying to learn how AI can actually help bring about a much better future for humanity. The opportunities for people of all abilities are endless.